M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're looking at the BT01 Bluetooth microphone for the Anytone 578. Now you are going to need a 578 with Bluetooth. You're going to need the latest firmware on your radio. And I'm going to put a link in the description for that here and we will click that in a second and have a look. Now you might have the, uh, the older 578 that has Bluetooth but is the one that doesn't have 500,000 contacts but it will work with the new microphone apparently the microphones are coming out with the latest blue with the latest firmware but the radio needs to be updated to the latest firmware including the APRS and BT board firmware which is all going to be listed here as you can see I've got it on the on the Bridgecom website so if we just click the 578 one first UV2 plus obviously if you've got the older model then just go down and have a look at the other ones UV, let's have a look at the late, yeah, UV3 plus, and you might have the UV2. So we'll click it. You get this folder here, double click, and there's quite a few, you know, it's quite a lot here to look at, but the one that you're interested in is the APRS Bluetooth firmware one, which is this one here. Now I haven't got the radio, so I can't do it, but there are instructions within this. Let's click that. So we'll go down to the Close all these things to the 578. So there's the 578. Number two, open programming software tool. Go to firmware update, select open button and select the appropriate BHT board V104 file. So the SPI file with these numbers in the firmware update folder. Check the set com port that is correct for your PC. Connect the radio. Select the white button to write the new the right button to write the new firmware to the radio. So that's your Bluetooth one done. Then let's have a look at another one. And you'll see that the actual SPI file is within here at 1.06. There it is there, SPI file. Okay, we've looked at that. So with the 578, there are two different firmware versions because of the, because of the microprocessor shortage. So you need to really be careful choosing the right one. You've got the GD version 2.04 states the radio uses the GD MCU chip. So then you've got the version GD V2XX. Then you've got firmware version AT 2.04 states the radio uses the AT chip. It shall use the AT version 2. So that's really important that you get the right one. Uh, cancel that for now. Minimize that. If we look at the, let's just choose one of them. We'll choose the AT version, and there's your different files for updating that firmware. Let's go back. Let's have a look. That so that was the firmware. What else can we find here? Now this is the Bluetooth module, the BT01 microphone. Let's click the instructions. Now remember, I haven't got this radio, so I can't do it. But I think there's good info here. I'll put the link in the description for everything I'm reading out to you. So note, once the BT01 microphone is put in firmware update mode, you must complete the firmware update right to prevent the BT01 microphone from staying in update mode. So number one, in the power, in the power off state, hold down the PTT and PF3. That's the bottom one here, PTT. Key power on the microphone. Uh, you may see a non-relevant message on the display, but keep holding the three buttons until you get the blinking red light. So there you are. You need the blinking red light. Number two, LED light should now be blinking and the microphone has entered firmware mode. The USB cable, use the USB cable to connect microphone to your PC. Open the 578 radio programming software. And go to tools firmware. So you click in the same things on the firmware. And then here's some images of what you're going to be doing. So it's, it's the usual. We've done all this many times, haven't we? You click firmware, open it, select the file that you want. Notice sometimes the firmware update window does not come up on display. It is related to Windows permission. You can enter into the CPS installed folder to run firmware update tool manually, which is this little QX thing. QX firmware. So you basically go into the firmware, double click QX, and it will open this little window for you. Select open file button and select the appropriate BT01 SPI file. 
in the firmware update folder, check the set com port that is correct for your PC, connect to the microphone, select right. So you're going to right click device manager and then you're going to be making sure that you've got the right com number. So let's just look further. We double click here and then you can see the SPI file that you will select when you do the firmware update basically. So I think that's it. The main thing is here is that if you've got the 578 and you want to use the new BT0 microphone, you are going to have to make sure that everything firmware wise is up to date and you're running the latest CPS as well, which is 1.17. So I hope this helps you. I'll put the links I've got in the description. I'll put the link from Premier One here that they've provided, which is at the bottom of their page, right at the bottom if you scroll all the way down. They've got a lot of info on this. And did we go straight past it? Here it is here. So the 578 1.17 and for the other model UV2 2.04 official release. And you've got that here as well, 2.4. That's on the Bridgecom site. So I hope it helps you. 73. Catch you on air. All the best.